Before we start this, I actually want to tell you some secret. No, no, a secret. I actually... I love to talk. Let's start. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. The name is Husna Afifah binti Zahari. Mm, you guys can call me Husna or Ifa. Both are my name. So I'm a student from class AC1101A. Currently, I'm studying in UITM Jengke, Pahang. So basically, today's video is about my first time experiencing ODL. So what is ODL? ODL is a short form for Open Distance Learning. <laughs> That's funny. ODL is also a general term for the use of telecommunication or for students to provide or enhance learning through internet. So nowadays, we use um, ODL instead of physical class because as we all aware of um, different situation we're having or facing right now, which is COVID-19. So because of COVID-19, we're supposed to uh, keep our social distancing um, so that we can avoid from making uh, the, uh, the cases of COVID-19 to increase day by day. So in this video, I will share to you guys about my experience and some obstacles that I need to overcome um, during this ODL and what I have learned during this ODL. Oh yeah, I'm super excited to be talking about this um, because it's something I like talking about. So without further delay, let's get started! I can say that I'm a quite lazy student. Yeah, it's a secret. <laughs> My routine are too messy before this. I stayed at home for almost a year doing nothing. You know, I just wake up and then I watch some movies without getting ready for anything. Oh, I mean, I, I'm so unhealthy. It's kind of different when I enter the university life. You know, I need to wake up earlier and then getting ready for online classes, do my assignments. So with that, I realized that I need to change my behavior. I quickly realized that um, in order to be success, I need to struggle by myself. I need to change my life in order to be a successful student. So I'm tainted. Um, I found some interesting quotes that says, don't wait for opportunity, create it. Number two, success is not accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing and learning to do. So from this ODL, I learned so much new things. So one of the things is there is a lot of online platforms that students can use uh, during this ODL. So for example, we have Google Classroom, uh, Webex, uh, Microsoft Team, UFuture which only provide for UITM students and lastly we have Google Meet. There's a lot more but I don't remember because there's a lot. <laughs> I really love Google Classroom's app because I think that that app's really really useful for me and to every student too. I never knew that these apps could be so much important to me right now because um, when I try that apps, I feel like, oh my god, this really, really easy to use. So when I start to use all these apps, I can say that, oh, this is really helpful and I actually not stress anymore because I think I can do this. Secondly, I want to talk about time management. <laughs> so just now, I told you guys about how bad my routine was before this, right? <laughs> so with that, I realized that I need to change my lifestyle in order to be a successful student. Okay, um, Alhamdulillah, in this UED course, I learned about how to manage our time efficiently. So I think I learned so much new things from this UED course because not only that, I already have my own fixed time calendar which is really helpful to me. I'm not wasting my time anymore. 
I'm a good student. So I think I learned so much new things from this UED course because not only that, I already have my own fixed time calendar which is really helpful to me. I'm not wasting my time anymore. I'm a good student. <laughs> oh yeah, I also became a good student. <laughs> I wake up very very earlier now and I do my subo prayer and then I do a lot of intensive workout so that I'm not sleepy anymore. Let's move to another obstacles that I need to overcome during this ODL. I'm pretty sure this problem, I told you, not only me, okay, not only me, that face this kind of problem because I can see that this problem is the biggest problem that student will face during this ODL. Um, I have a um, Wi-Fi connection but sometimes my Wi-Fi connection is quite low so that I need to open my data connection and it's also the same, you know, I can't do anything with that. My Wi-Fi connection or data connection will be like this. I hate that. Oh yeah, I also hate when I need to tell my lecturer like, Madam, sorry, I can't attend to this class. My Wi-Fi connection is too low. I can't get in into this Google Meet. I hate that. Not hate, I'm not hating that because I need to report what I'm doing. No. It's because I want to learn. Um, but Alhamdulillah, most of my lecturer always um, do a recording to the lesson what we have learned. So that's really useful because I can watch the, the recording for thousand times until I understand the lesson. Let's move to our next topic which is distraction. Okay, sometimes I can't be too focused when I am in online classes because you know sometimes the car will be like <sighs> you know that's annoying not only that my little sister will come and knocking the door like no 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 for nothing and then when I open the door she will be like nothing you know that's really annoying too so and that's not the ending of my life. My mother will also come in front of my room and then knock in the door like, Kak Nga, open the door and please help me cook. So that's what happened when I entered the online class. Uh, but it's okay, Alhamdulillah, after I explained to my mother and to my family that don't disturb me when I am in my online class. So they understand. Everyone understand my situation except the car. <laughs> so another obstacle that I need to overcome is my health situation or condition. You know, it's kind of funny to tell this one story. But I swear my back really really hurts nowadays. Because I think I just stay for this. For long times and then when I stand up it's like oh it's quaking also my iPad becomes so worse day by day because I think um, I don't have enough sleep lately but it's okay because I need to create on time I need to be a successful student so like, it's okay to be it's okay not to be okay <laughs> oh yeah i also got a migraine when i do my assignments because i have a migraine so that's really really hard to me to handle because when it comes like suddenly i can't do anything because i need to sleep only sleep but yeah quickly i take my medicine because that's helpful too I think that the only obstacles that I need to overcome and what I have faced during this ODL for this time um, I really really feeling grateful for UED course because um, I can't know how to manage my time right now I became a good student 
I really really hope that I can stay motivated until my graduation day, inshallah one day. And I know that this this is hard to everyone to but have faith, don't forget to pray. Um there's no storm that God won't carry you through. No bridge that God won't help you cross. Allah is so much bigger than anything you will face today. Leave everything in His hands and embrace this day confidently knowing that Allah will help you to success. Fighting! So I think that's all for me, who's Nafi Fahdinti Zahari, an accountancy student from uh, UITM Jengke Pahang. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.